Howdy everybody from Long Haul. It's uh, March 10th. Uh, really warm, nice day out. Uh, I'm going to skid another log up the hill. Uh, I did a video a little over a month ago. It was a lot colder. Uh, skidding some smaller logs up. And today I'm going to show you what, uh, uh, well, just sh the possibilities of skidding larger logs with a snowmobile. Uh, so this log is uh, about uh, something, I don't know, like 20 inches in diameter at the butt. Uh, and, then, or, and then the tip is probably 13 feet long or so. Tip's about 16 inches. It's a white spruce log. Um, and I actually, uh, this was a salvaged timber, right? It was a tree that the top broke off and then I cut it down two years ago and peeled the bark off of it. So uh, as a result, it's probably about half of the weight that it was when it was green, um, which makes this a little bit easier. But still, I'm gonna be skidding it up uh, uphill, uh, up about a 100 foot rise and probably in less than an eighth of a mile. So it's a pretty steep hill to be going up. And uh, anyway, we got a new machine because I've been skidding a lot of logs out, uh, logging for our cedar sauna and all that. And so we got a super wide track uh, Scandic uh, Ski-Doo machine, 2001 with the 500F engine. Um, it's got high and low gears. It's a lot more suited for hauling big logs out than the Polaris. Uh, that I did, that we had, uh, that we still have, but that I was doing the last video with. So anyway, uh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. So yeah, there it is. Uh, like I said, this is a uh, this is a ski do uh, super wide track Scandic. So uh, you can see it's got a 24 inch track on there. I had it in low gear, uh, but uh, it, as you can see, it didn't have too much trouble pulling that up a pretty steep hill. So and yeah, once again, this is a white spruce log that is relatively seasoned. Not you know completely seasoned, but it's a lot lighter than when it was green so um, here's some more logs that I've hauled out of the woods as well the top of that tree and uh, some others so and there's the sawmill and the bobcat and the sawmill shed okay hope you enjoyed oh yeah one more thing I'll show you real quick here's some cedar logs that I've been we'll walk over here real quick there's uh show you the cedar logs that I've been hauling out as well. I've been logging uh, the cedar stand down at the bottom, the other side of the bottom of our land there. Ooh, the snow's getting really soft. It's starting to fall through. I'm going to have to call it quits for the day, I think. It's getting too warm. So here's some 28-foot uh, uh, cedar logs that are, I don't know, about maybe 12 to 14 inches at the tips, or the, sorry, 12 to 14 inches at the butt and around six inches at the tip. Uh, cedars are a lot lighter, of course, but maybe to haul those out with no problem. Uh, 
So I got another pile of them over there. Yep. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. Okay, so a couple things, I'm back in the cabin now, a couple things I forgot to mention in that video um, was that th those uh, cedar logs are completely green. Uh, they were live when I cut them down just a week or two ago. Uh, also, the spruce log especially, but both, well, the spruce log and the cedar logs as well are in areas of our property that were in areas of our property that are very difficult to access. Uh, in the summer with any sort of machines. I mean, it would be uh, ridiculous, if not impossible, to go down there with even an ATV uh, to get those logs in the summer if, you know, um, I mean, without like lots and lots of trail cutting and stuff. Um, I mean, I'm going over like rocks and ruts and stumps and creeks and boggy areas and all kinds of whatnot. Uh, dragging those logs so uh, as it is all I had to do was go in with snowshoes first cut some brush out of the way uh, then go through with the snowmobile then drag a sled through with the snowmobile and you know it took me a better part of maybe half a day uh, to make a trail in and then I got a nice smooth paved trail to drag logs out of so I've been pretty happy with uh, logging with the snowmobile works pretty well in our climate uh, I'm just hanging out with babies in the cabin. Uh, how you doing, Galvin? How's it going? Oh, hi. So you want to smile? You want to smile for the camera? How's it going? Ah, that's a cutie. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What's going on? What is this thing? What is this thing? What is that thing? <gasps> what is that thing? Ooh. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. Say bye-bye, Galvin. Say bye-bye.